So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Rockport, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this absolutely amazing Montana Legacy fifth wheel with full body paint. When it comes to Montanas, this is about as good as they get. They have done so much to this unit to make it stand out. I think you're gonna like it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers before we step inside. This is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,600 pounds, an empty weight of 13,980 pounds. It's gonna ride on twin 7,000 pound axles and utilize G-rated tires. So in terms of the setup, I would have liked to see 8,000 pound axles under it, but the fact is, if you look at the unloaded weight rating of 13,980, take about 2,500 of that, transfer it to the truck in terms of what will transfer to the truck, at any given time, you'll probably only have about 11,500 pounds actually resting on the axles, which gives you a significantly higher amount. Once you load this thing up with all of your stuff, you might have 12,500, 13,000 pounds. So you will definitely be under what the axles are capable of towing, and I think that's the most important thing to remember. But it would have been nice to see 8K axles on it, to be honest. Well, let's take a look at the inside of this unit, and then we will uh, take a look at the outside. Again, full body paint, absolutely gorgeous. I love full body paint on a fifth wheel. This is the Montana 3781 RL. This is gonna be a very traditional rear living room type floor plan, so just keep that in mind. Stepping inside, absolutely beautiful. You know, in terms of the floor plan, rear living room floor plans are the most popular for fifth wheels, but whenever you move to the higher end models, the, the ones with the luxury packages, you definitely get to see a lot more amenities being added, such as kind of that marble look around the lighting, a lot more trim work. I mean, this is just an absolutely beautiful fifth wheel. You can see they use more of like a rug material in the slide instead of carpet or linoleum. Over here, you have the new LCI power theater seating, which is really nice. Plus you have this enormous armrest that flips down with cup holders and charging ports and all of that. Beautiful cabinetry. I love the neutral wood tone to it. So I'm a fan of dark tones, neutral tones, light tones, as long as it's executed well. I absolutely love these valances. Beautiful. I'm not sure how I feel about these coming down because you can already see how the chair kind of touches it right there and you could probably run into that back here as well. It looks really nice, but if you watch my videos, you'll know that we removed them off of ours because the chairs made contact. You have these little nightstands or end tables, I'm sorry, at the end of the couch, plus some charging ports. They do not flip up. Huge windows. And then you have some storage up here. That's kind of high. It's a little bit out of the way. You know, this is definitely where you'd want to store stuff that you don't plan on accessing a lot. But, you know, they're magnetic latches. Everything holds real well. But again, that might be where your extra pillows go, things like that. 50-inch TV. Huge panoramic fireplace with theater speakers on the outside and over here. This is going to be equipped with twin air conditioning units. Both are whisper quiet. You see the return air ducts. And if you compare this to other models that have return air, these are closer together because even though it makes the unit slightly louder, the trade-off is you get better airflow. You got more storage here above the TV. A lot of storage. Huge island. I mean, this is an enormous island and the wood tones, the color look really, really nice. Definitely stands out. You can tell that there's been some designing thought put into this unit for sure. Love the backsplash right here. Tons of countertop space, plenty of room for a coffee station. These pop up to give you charging ports, USB ports, everything you need. Nice cabinetry here, all magnetic latches. Has a nice convection residential microwave. Really nice suburban three burner residential style stove oven. Plus, look at these huge drawers on both sides. They are all soft closing, so as they close, they're gonna close very soft. Same over here, lots of cabinets and drawers. This is a wonderful island. It is a, a dual basin stainless steel cooktop, solid surface, so these are relatively heavy. You can see the MSRP on this, since it's right here, $107,978, but I would bet the price you pay for this will be significantly less than that because nobody really sells RVs for MSRP. You have a 
area for your washer and dryer, which is really convenient. It's not clogged in the bedroom area. So very nice space here. If you don't put a washer and dryer in, you just have a really nice storage area. Great place for folding e-bikes. Right here, all your controls. You have your touchscreen interface to be able to retract, pull your slides in, operate ACs, things like that. Max air controls, heated holding tanks, and then a lot of storage right here. And then your fuses and breakers down there. This entire area is just trimmed off very well. And then up top, you have a lot of storage. Shoot, you could fit a folding e-bike up there, to be honest. Up here, I imagine it's more of the same. Yep, so they utilize about every spot in this fifth wheel for storage. All right, so heading out the stairs, that's a very different style grab handle. Stepping up, huge window right here. Very, very nice visibility out, especially if you're parked next to something nice. It's just a nice area to pass by. The bathroom is amazing. Has dual vanities, stainless steel, undermount, solid surface countertop. These are all things that you don't typically see in a lot of RVs. You have nice cabinetry up here, as well as cabinet storage in between. Lots of drawers, lots of storage underneath both sinks. Porcelain foot flush toilet with a tremendous amount of room. You have about 6'3 worth of ceiling height in here. Solid one piece shower, which is really nice. You have more storage behind the door. Lots of storage, even slow closing cabinets as well. So that's really nice. Montana has been around for such a long time. They've had so much time to refine the process and things that they do. So even if you have a unit that's four or five years old, it might be almost entirely different in terms of some of the construction aspects and perks versus a new one. You have a nice sliding door right here barn style door whatever you want to call that and then you have a lot of room on each side of the bed to get on the bed king size bed very tall slide heights very nicely trimmed off you have your whisper quiet ac up here nice closet at the end quite a bit of room in here this is going to be a laundry area so that's a laundry chute that you just drop your laundry stuff in you have a hanging rod that runs all the way across the top here tons of wardrobe space in this unit lots of drawers lots of cabinets to access stuff well just one cabinet but still you have tons of storage in this unit tv's already mounted i love this long ledge and there's another slide so this is a smaller slide but it gives you all this space between the end of the bed and your wardrobe which is really nice because it makes this room feel so much larger than it might normally very cool let's take a look at the outside of this unit Okay, so starting from the front, this does utilize the Road Armor Trail Air Pin Box from LCI. Basically, it has this rubber bushing right here, which dampens movement. It has the hydraulic level up landing gear system. Opening up this baggage door, you can see because it has an eight inch drop beam right here, you have a tremendous amount of storage in here. Huge amount of storage. Here's the brains behind the in-command system from ASA. Basically, all of your wires and everything are going to come into this system, which is really nice. It cleans everything up quite a bit. You can see the aluminum framing for the bath deck and your inverter over there. And then flip this door up. It's magnetically held in place. You can put a TV here. You have your central vacuuming system right here. I would have almost preferred maybe some type of an outside kitchen, a sink or something out here. That would have been nice. Small cooler. But this is cool that they utilize this. Very, very heavy baggage doors. Level up hydraulic landing gear and auto leveling system. This utilizes the very familiar Road Armor suspension equalizer. Same setup we have on our current fifth wheel and the same one we upgraded our previous fifth wheel to, along with the thicker shackle straps and greasable wet bolts. Plus the very familiar Saloon S637 G rated tires. So very, very nice tires that they put on this unit. Rack and pinion slide back here, which is really nice. All frameless windows, which look nice. And I like how they use the black material on the sides of the slide. It just makes it look cleaner. This has a one-piece fiberglass rear cap with all LED lighting, full walk-on roof, and it already has the wireless camera in place. This is designed so you can tow, but you want to make sure you don't exceed any of your capacities. It has a two-inch receiver, and it has the connection for your trailer lights, plus some chain hooks. Coming around this way. It's missing a lens cover for the light right there. I'll tell them about that does have rack and pinion slides all the way around except for this very front wardrobe slide which is a 
it doesn't extend quite as deep, but it's a Schwintec slide system. So that's really the ideal application for a slide like that. This has an electronic cord reel as well for the 50 amp power cable, which is nice. Outside of your water heater, outside of your furnace. And this is the other side of your storage. And this one's on strut arms. Wet bay right here, very nice and clean. Huge, huge storage area. And again, this is very indicative of Montana. And you can see the strut arms here and you can see the strut arms on the door across from us. Some of the fifth wheels come with the strut arms already in place, some don't. It really just depends. And some people don't even like them because it only allows the door to open up like this and not swing all the way up. So you end up ducking underneath it. So me personally, I mean, on this door, you kind of need it because they have a slide right there and it would hit that slide if it went up any higher. On the other side, you would also need it as well because there is a slide above that door. So if there was no slide there, then you wouldn't really need it. Along with the backup camera that's already in place, they also have the side view cameras that are already in place. Anyways, guys, I'd love to know your opinion on this unit. This is beautiful and Montanas are very popular. For the longest time, I believe they were the number one selling luxury fifth wheel brand in the, in the US. So do you guys own a Montana? If you do, what do you think of it? And if you have like a Montana high country versus a Montana or a Montana legacy, I'd love to know your thoughts there as well. Do you wish you had stepped up? Do you wish you had paid a little less? What do you feel about your uh, specific Montana that you do own? Anyways, please leave a comment below. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.